Assalamualaikum and good morning my all lovely students who are here in the class. I hope you all are well and fine and doing great. So students, I warmly welcome you back to the class of social studies. This is your teacher Ms. Zuneyara, your social studies teacher and today we are back with another lecture. So my dear students, today we are going to continue one of the chapter that we started previous week. So let's get started. So here we are going to see the name of the chapter that we started in the last class. I know that everybody knows the name of the chapter. So the chapter is Longitude and Latitude. Yes. The chapter name is Longitude and Latitude, which is going to be our chapter number 8 and it is on page number 30 of your social studies book. Here in the globe, you can see some of the lines. These lines are imaginary lines. Some lines are running uh, from top to bottom and bottom to top, while some of the, some of the lines are making a circle around the globe. So we are going to see them in detail. So let's get started. Before we start the lecture, let's see the things to learn from this chapter so we can see that how many things we have learned and how many things are left to be learned. So here comes the things that are included in this chapter. So number one is poles and equator. Poles and equator are two points. The vertical points are called poles and horizontal points or the corners are called equator. Then we learnt about longitude. What are the lines of longitude? What is the direction of the lines of longitude? Starting point for measuring longitude importance of lines of longitude and distance between the lines of longitude and then today we are supposed to learn about latitude yes so the same things we are going to learn about the latitude that we learned about the longitude so what are the things that we are going to learn today we are going to learn the lines of latitude the direction of the lines of latitude Starting point for measuring latitude, importance of lines of latitude that why they are important. In the last, we would learn about distance between the lines of latitude. It is not yet completed. The last thing would be how do lines of longitude and latitude help us. So we are going to see that if the lines of longitude and latitude are imaginary lines then why do we use them and what is the purpose of them and how do they help us to find the things students here you can easily observe that how can we differentiate the lines of longitude and latitude you can see here the latitude now the lines of latitude are running from left to right or right to left. It means the lines which are traveling horizontally are known as lines of latitude. Okay. On the other hand, there are the lines which are running or traveling from top to bottom or bottom to top or we can say that one pole to another. They are called as lines of longitude. My dear students, before we start today's lecture, let's have a review of our previous lecture so we can continue in a better way. So what kind of things we have learned in our previous chapter or lecture? There are 360 lines of longitude on the globe. How many lines are there? 360 lines of longitude and these lines are also known as meridian. They are also called as meridian. Afterwards, we learned that 
the lines of longitude travel from nor north to south or south to north then longitude is measured in degrees east or west of the prime meridian we had learned about the prime meridian as well that what is it prime meridian is a line which is in the middle of the globe and it is at 0 degree longitude 0 degree serves as the starting point of longitude greenwich that is a place in london it is at 0 degree longitude instead of saying this we can also say that it is on 0 degree or it serves as the starting point or it is at the 0 degree or it is at the 0 degree longitude what is greenwich it's a place where in london lines of longitude or meridians show that how far east or west a place is lines of longitude join at the poles are apart at the equator the distance between a pair of lines is equivalent to 1 so let's start learning about the latitude and we are going to learn about the lines of latitude there are 180 lines of latitude on the globe you can see in the picture that some of the lines are traveling from uh, from equator to equator right or they are traveling horizontally these lines are 180 in numbers and these lines are also known as parallels what are these called these are called parallels if you remember when we were learning about the lines of longitude so we called them as meridian as well so meridian is an alternative name for the lines of longitude likewise for the lines of latitude there is an uh, other alternative term and that is parallels and it is very easy to know the direction of the lines of latitude as we know that these are the lines that travel uh, horizontally so basically the, the lines of latitude travel from east to west and here in the globe you can observe this thing these are the lines which are traveling horizontally or we can say that east to west or west to east and these are called as lines of latitude or the parallels now students here we are going to learn about unit of latitude as the lines of longitude and latitude are given some of the numbers that you can observe in this picture as well now you must have learned in maths that these are magnitudes with a magnitude we have to put a unit for example uh, if we go to buy the milk we buy the milk like 1 kg 2 kg so kilogram is the unit and milk uh, one or two is the magnitude likewise if we want to indicate the lines of longitude or latitude we know that they have been given numbers as well which are magnitudes here you can see 90 60 30 0 30 60 90 okay it means the numbers are given but what is the unit of these numbers latitude is measured in degrees here in the bracket you can see so the latitude is measured in degrees okay so this is 90 degree 60 degree 30 degree okay either it is the lines of longitude or latitude the equator represents 0 degree latitude how this is the equator as the prime meridian is the middle line of longitude likewise for latitude the mid one line is known as equator and it is 
at zero degree latitude. Now, what is the thing that we are going to learn the next? That is starting point of latitude. What we are going to learn? Starting point of latitude. So here you can see that the equator serves as the starting point of the latitude because we know that equator is at zero degree latitude and it is serving as the starting point for the lines of latitude. Why they are important? What is the importance of lines of longitude and latitude? We have been learnt about lines of longitude. Now it is the time to know the importance of lines of latitude. Lines of latitude or parallels of latitude show that how far a place is. Here you can see this is the equator. This is an equator, okay, and it is at zero degree because it is the mid one line among the lines of latitude. Now here we can see one thing that we can easily locate any of the thing uh, locating on the globe by telling the direction with the help of lines uh, lines of lot latitude and longitude. This is how these are important for us. So what is the importance of lines of latitude? Lines of latitude or parallels of latitude show that how far a place is. This is the time to learn about the distance between lines of latitude. Lines of latitude. We are going to see the distance. Lines of latitude make a circle around the globe. Here you can see in the picture that there are the circle like structures 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. They are 180 in numbers. Okay. So the lines of latitude make a circle around the globe. Right. And the distance between one pair of circle is equivalent to one degree as we know that we measure the lines of longitude and latitude in degrees so if we talk about the distance between one circle to another it is about one degree it is equivalent to one degree now in the last, we are going to see that why the lines of longitude and latitude are necessary. If they are imaginary lines, what is the purpose of them? Lines of latitude and longitude. Lines of latitude and longitude help us to answer a key geographical question. Where am I? If you want to know that, where are you? You can answer your own question with the help of lines of longitude and latitude. What are the lines of longitude and latitude? The lines of latitude and longitude refer to a grid system. That refers to a grid system. What is this? This is a grid system. Net like structure. You, you, might, have, you might be uh, taught in maths. You might have seen some of the grids, okay? So what is it? These refer to the grid system of imaginary lines. This is very important. We must know that there is no existence of these lines. These are just imaginary lines. You will find on the map or the globe, right? Now parallels of latitude. What are the parallels of latitude? Basically, we are calling the lines of latitude as parallels of latitude, right? Likewise, meridians of longitude, it means the lines of longitude. 
form an invisible grid over the earth's surface and assist in pinpointing any location on earth with great accuracy everywhere has its own unique grid location and this is expressed in terms of latitude and longitude coordinates lines of latitude and the horizontal lines are the horizontal lines they tell us that whether a place is located in northern or the southern hemisphere as well as how far the north or south from the equator it is lines of longitude are the vertical lines as we as you have been told they indicate how far east or west of the prime meridian a place is so here we have completed our chapter our chapter number 7 which is longitude and latitude and we have been uh, you have been told about the lines of longitude and latitude so students now the time has come to say goodbye to all of you wear the mask when you go out of your home it is really important right use sanitizer and wash your hands again and again at home and use sanitizers out of the home right because wearing is caring so take care and remember me in your prayers goodbye allah hafiz